food is the ingredient that brings us together. Hello everyone, today we're going to be going to uh, Sushi Lovers in uh, Richmond. They're just in the uh, corner of uh, Blendell and Railway, uh, beside the Blendell uh, laundromat. So they got uh, lots of uh, specialty uh, sushi items and uh, we're here today to uh, try out their sushi. So uh, as we can see on their sign, they got uh, dine-in as well as uh, takeout. Uh, so we're gonna go inside and see how much uh, space they have inside and also how uh, the foods are prepared. So stay tuned. So let's take a look at their dining menu. They got uh, bento boxes as well as some kids meals. They also got starters, so the regular miso soup, rice, and some regular uh, sushi items and salads. They also got poke balls, which are basically um, poke balls, which are basically like a sushi you can consider it in a bowl. So fish, salad, as well as rice comes in a bowl. Uh, they got the other rice bowls as well as udon. They got sashimi. And then nagari. If I'm pronouncing it right, there's also sushi rolls and cones. And then we got special rolls, which I think they're more famous for those. And then you can also make them combo. So that's great where you can combine multiple rolls. And at the end, I think they got some uh, desserts as well, which, are, which is great to see. And over here, we got their uh, specials menu or party tray. So if you have a party or if you're catering or have large orders, you can use their specials uh, menu for that. As you can see, they got beautiful uh, array of uh, sushi items, um, spicy tuna sashimi. They got wild salmon. Wild salmon is one of my favorites. So actually, if you haven't tried it, make sure you try it. It's way better than the regular um, salmon um, sashimi. So here we can, you can see they got beautiful bowls uh, of uh, pork as well as uh, uh, the other bowls of uh, rice that they have that comes with fish. They also got minto boxes, so they got uh, um, I guess that might be uh, beef, chicken probably, and fish. And uh, they got some kids uh, options here as well. And here's their, their special role, so BC, Blazer, Mango Dynamite, Dragon Roll, Fawn Lovers, Magic Roll, House Roll, Dynamite Roll. This one looks pretty cool, Double Dragon Roll. Interesting, so we'll, we'll see which one we get to try and uh, we'll keep you guys posted. There's some awesome other rolls here as well. So stay tuned as we bring you some sushi and uh, let you know how to do uh, it. Usually any uh, Japanese restaurant or sushi places you, uh, you go, they serve you green tea. So this is Japanese green tea, which is a little bit different than jasmine. It has a good nutty uh, smell to it. And it's actually one of my favorites. Is and these guys got some cute parts, kitty cat parts. We're here at the back of the restaurant uh, with Jay, and he's going to uh, just show us how uh, some of the sushi is prepared.
So we got this uh, dish. We're just gonna see what uh, we have here with us. It's gonna be wild salmon sushi. It's spicy my own sauce. Okay. And this is salmon toro abuji and hamachi toro abuji. Okay. And uh, for that there is spicy mayo with grass and engawa saba. And awesome. Okay. Looks great. Thank you very much. So this one is actually salmon and on top uh, they put the uh, mayo and uh, on top of that they actually have a piece of jalapeno and they've just kind of um, I think maybe put some fire or so just to heat it up so let's take a look and, and try and see how it tastes and their specialty actually that their uh, sushi is more of like a rectangle <laughs> Put a little bit of soy sauce in the bottom. Damn it, see. It's really good. It has a smoky flavor from I think the fire that they put in the mayo. Everything is really smooth, so when you put it in your mouth, it just actually melt. Not spicy at all, although there is jalapeno, and even the, the fish itself it just melts with the rest of uh, the rest of all the ingredients. This is also the salmon one. It just has actually mayo, uh, and it's, uh, I think just a little bit of fire on top, and it looks like a little bit of black pepper. So let's see how this is. the meat or the fish well, for this one also it's extremely soft it just melts in your mouth it seems like uh, when you try it the rice is harder than the, the fish because the fish just disappears with the mayo where you still kind of get that um, crunchiness or that texture of uh, rice but extremely delicious So uh, this is uh, blue fin uh, tuna sashimi. Uh, we'll uh, try and uh, see how it is. A little bit of uh, soy sauce. No fishy smell, just like the sushi itself. It's extremely delicate, it's really soft and just melts in your mouth. It doesn't give any resistance. It has like a sweet um, taste to it, but really good. No, no, um, no odor, no fishy smell or anything. An extremely soft and delicate. You can see it doesn't have a lot of fat either, so it's really. Uh, lean uh, bluefin tuna. This is their uh, dynamite though, uh, but uh, as you can see, the shrimp is actually not fried. Uh, it doesn't have tempura because they don't have a fryer. Uh, so this is kind of like a little bit of a healthier option. So we got uh, sushi, cucumber, avocado, a little bit of uh, white and black sesame, and some fish eggs. Really good. The shrimp doesn't have uh, any smell, and you get that crunchiness from the cucumber and the soft, soft uh, texture from avocado. It's really good. So we got the uh, salmon uh, sashimi. I put a little bit of our soy sauce here, as well as the wasabi. Let's try and see how this uh, sashimi is. 
It's really good. It's really crisp, really fresh. It just melts in your mouth. No fishy smell at all. You can tell it's actually the fish is um, really fresh. Their service was uh, great. The staff were really friendly and welcoming. Um, and they were uh, nice enough to allow us to go to the back of uh, the restaurant and film them uh, making the sushi. The outside of the restaurant, the seating area, as well as the kitchen were clean and uh, well organized. The sushis are uh, unique given that they torch uh, the mayo as well as the rice. So it gives it a nice uh, smoky flavor. Overall, the quality of the food as well as the, the taste was really good and uh, delicious. If you like this video please make sure to give it uh, a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button thank you